Tucker or Jessica Tucker. I kind of go by different names. Mom, queen of the universe, as I tell some kids to call me. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to do a kind of a playful relaxing and releasing theme. So we're going to just un, un de stress is the word I'm looking for. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do from our head to our toes, um, but we're also going to get work on our breathing. So we're going to do some diaphragm breathing first. So the way I like to kind of set it up is if you're on your chair, I am sitting on the ground right now, just so you can see me closer is I like to have one hand on my stomach, one hand on my chest. And when I breathe in, I'm gonna be pushing my hand out. So I'm using my stomach to push my hand away from my body. And when I exhale, I bring my hand in. So breathing in and out. Now, some people breathe in through their nose, some people, or breathe out through their nose and breathe out through their mouth. So it's kind of up to you. With the diaphragm breath, it's really good because you're doing a deep breath. So you're really breathing deeply. It's really good for panic attacks, for relaxing your body, relaxing your mind, calming your thoughts. So if you breathe out through your mouth, it's kind of like a big sigh as well. And that just kind of, again, gets your body and your mind into relaxing and calming down. We'll do a few more rounds of our diaphragm breath. And last one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add movement to our breath. So in yoga, when we inhale, we expand. And when we exhale, we kind of return back to our body. So we're going to practice that. So hands at our heart center. And what we're going to do is we're going to, again, inhale, expanding, and exhaling. Give yourself a little hug. <laughs> inhale, expand. Exhale, and a hug. So again, we're just gonna be adding our breath. So inhaling, expanding, going big, exhaling, going within. A few more breaths on your own. I'm just kind of moving my body because I'm touching stuff <laughs> in here. <laughs> There's a 50 year collection of things in the basement. <laughs> So. <laughs> and last one. Take a moment at your hands at heart center and think of an intention you might want for today. It could just be like having some time to yourself. It could be relaxing, learning something new, um, whatever the case might be. And just remember, for the rest of this time, we're doing yoga. We're not worrying about anything else but yoga and ourselves and each other, whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come a bit closer because we're going to do some face stuff. So I did this with my kids, and they thought it was very funny. <laughs> so be prepared. We're going to begin with a fishy face. So I often clench my jaw and grind my teeth when I sleep. So, and my dad often does it too. My dad has Parkinson's. So this is really good to help release the mouth tension because we often forget about, you know, we work on our shoulders, our back, but we forget about our face and our jaw. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a fishy face. So again, we're gonna look our puck ring. I'm gonna hold it for three seconds. And release. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. <laughs> and release. If you have your grandkids over or whatnot, or you do Zoom with your grandkids, you can be. 
And again, it's just releasing the melt tension. So we'll do that a few more times. Good. And two more. Good. And last one. Perfect. <laughs> so that's the fishy face. <laughs> the next one we're going to do is an open wide. And this is again, if you're feeling overwhelmed or you have a tense jaw, it's really good to help release again that tension. So it's just an open wide. We're going to hold it for two seconds. And it's like this. <laughs> it's so <laughs> good. <laughs> Let's do that again. Good, I said it was playful. <laughs> playful relaxation. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we'll do that a few more times again. If you're at home by yourself, you can always add a little ah. <laughs> And last one. Good. <laughs> the last one is a wide smile. So my son is five and he has this beautiful smile. And then he started going like this. So all our family pictures are him like, <laughs> but this is a wise smile and again is used for helping with facial expressions and also changing your mood so if you're grumpy sometimes all you have to do is and you're going to change your mood so again this is the last one of our face so we're going to hold this for three seconds and just a wise smile so let's go Awesome, you guys are great. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> Perfect, and we'll do that three more times. Really wise smiles like you're five years old and your mom wants to take a really nice picture of you and you go. <laughs> and your mom's like, okay, that was really nice, but let's have a proper smile. So you say, okay, last one. And you're like, yay. <laughs> All right. So again, hopefully that helped change our elevator mood. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is our shoulders. I'm going to just go up on my knee. So we're going to do some shoulder shrugs. These are again really good for kind of releasing tension in our shoulders. So we're just going to bring up our shoulders to our ears. Hold for two seconds, one, two, and release. Okay, let's do it again. And release. <laughs> it's a good way to, again, get your body to release the stress. So let's do that again. It's also really good body awareness, too. So when your shoulders are walking, or if you're walking, you notice your shoulders are up. Bringing them down also changes your demeanor, your mood as well. So let's do that again. One, two. Good. Let's do one more. I'm very tense. <laughs> 5 a.m. worth wake-ups. <laughs> All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stretch our shoulder um, around like our, um, this muscle here. My mind just went blank. <laughs> our lats here, our muscles along here. So we're just gonna do a really good shoulder stretch. So your arm across your chest, you can use your other arm to kind of brace your, um, the arm that you're stretching just before the elbow. I'm just gonna give a good stretch. So again, this is really good for opening up your shoulders, um, focusing your mind as well. We're just gonna hold it for a few breaths. And then release, and let's do the other side. The other side again. 
So again, I just thought for today, we'll just kind of do some relaxing, releasing, making funny faces. <laughs> That's all fun stuff. <laughs> all right. Good. Give it a little shake out. <clears throat> And the next thing we're going to do is kind of called a high alter arm. So what we do is we're going to hold it for around five breaths. I'm just going to back up a little bit. And what you're going to do is arms out in front, interlace your fingers, and you're going to bring your arms up above. This is really good, again, um, kind of like connecting to a higher power or whatever resonates with you. Um, the book that I have that I use is also you can visualize what you want. <laughs> so if you want, you can always look up at your hands and think of it as like a way to pray, pray or whatever the case might be. Again, whatever resonates with you, add a smile, yay! <laughs> and again, change that mood. We'll bring our arms down. So this one's hard for me because my left thumb likes to be on top. We're gonna do it again, but we're gonna switch our thumbs. So if your left thumb was on the top, it's now gonna be on the bottom or vice versa. We're gonna do that again. So bring our arms up. Whatever thumb was on the top is now on the bottom. We're gonna bring our arms up. And again, it's a good stretch and a good way to connect to ourselves, higher power. Again, visualizing what you want. A sleep in would be nice. Breathe in and out. Add a smile, it doesn't have to be the wise smile that we were doing. And it also is a good way to show gratitude. Thank you for all that we have. Uh, thank you to our nurses, our frontline staff, our truck drivers. Thank you for being present for our yoga session today. <sighs> Good. So looking at me, keep your arms up. Arms up. There we go. <laughs> so look at me. So Mary, yeah, perfect. I want to see your face. <laughs> we're going to do some tricep dips. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring our arms down, touch our head and back up again. So when I was doing the yoga sessions in person, um, one of the students asked about the little flab here. So this is a really good way to work on that, yep, <laughs> to work on that flab. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> so yeah, this is one of the ways that we can work on it. And you can do this as many times as you want. You can do it while you're watching TV. Okay, we're gonna just do a few more. Again, you would start off with your high altar arms and just do these little tricep press. Perfect. Let's do one more. Reaching high and then pressing down. Perfect. All right. Give your arms a little shake. <laughs> So that's one way to work on our little things. Another one that I wanted to share with you actually, it's called a prayer pulse. So what you do is I'm just gonna go on the side so you can see is you put your, your elbows together, and your arms together. And what you do is you just go like this. So you're doing like a pulse in prayer position. And this is also really good. It's gonna work your triceps, your chest, your back. So those flabby arms, this is really good way to get rid of them. So I've been doing this for a while now and I feel like the flabby arms have decreased. <laughs> so again, you can do this as many times as you want. So we'll do two more. One and last one. Okay. Can you feel it in your arms? Yeah? Good. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> I'm just going to, we're going to work our wrists. This is really good for carpal tunnel. So if you're at computers all day, um, 
So we're going to do a wrist workout. So this is also a really good way to focus your mind. So we're going to put out both our hands like this, straight up. And then this is the workout. So this is the first move. The second move, we're going to fold our fingers in like this. So they're straight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to almost like we're clenching our claws like this. And then we're going to clench, make a fist. Perfect. So we go straight, bend, claw, or what, whatever this might be called, claw, <laughs> fist. <laughs> so straight, bend, claw, fist. And again, this is really good for focusing your mind, okay? But also working the wrist muscles. So we'll do this a few more times. Clench, bend, fist, right? <laughs> I had two cups of coffee this morning. <laughs> bend, <laughs> claw, Fist. And last one, because my arms are sore. <laughs> Straight, bend, claw, fist. Perfect. So again, that's a really good way to work your wrist muscles. And you can do that as many times as you want. Um, just gonna check the time. So I'm gonna move back onto my chair. <clears throat> If you can't hear me, just tell me to go bit, speak a bit louder. Because now we're going to be working on our core and our legs. So what we're going to first do is a good chair twist. So don't tell my dad this, but he has some issues with his stomach. <laughs> so the chair twist is really good for digestion. It's also like a really good detox and um, energy lift. Because if you're feeling a bit stuck, it's, you're not going to be in the best of mood. <laughs> so planting your feet on the ground, we're going to take our left hand and place it on our right knee. We're going to take our right arm and just place it behind the back of the chair and give ourselves a little twist. I can, I'm on a screwy chair so I can go more on this side. <laughs> There we go. So I'm giving myself a nice twist. You normally hold this for a few breaths. When you inhale, you can always kind of straighten up your spine a bit, and then exhale, you can always twist a little bit more if you want it. So inhaling, twist a bit more. If it starts to feel uncomfortable or uncomfortable pain, then don't. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> and again, we're also stretching the sides of our core. giving her spine a nice little massage too. Okay, perfect. So now let's do the other side. So now we're gonna take our right hand, place it on our left knee. I like to kind of place it on the outside of my leg too. So it's just right here. Then I'm gonna take my left hand, place it on the back of the chair. And again, I'm gonna give myself inhale and twist. Again, I'm kind of opening up all sides. Again, we just kind of hold this for a little while. Breathing in. Good. We'll go back to the center. Just gonna check the time. So um, we're, if you want at home, you can do that a few times, but I'm going to move on because there's a few other things that I want to cover. So again, that's a really good way to detox and get things flowing. <laughs> All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work the muscles on like our obliques. So we're going to do a side bend. So raising your right arm up, we're going to inhale and we're going to stretch to the left. Opening up the muscles right here. 
This is a good way to work those muscles. Nice little stretch. Hold it for a few breaths. Again, if you inhale, you can always go a bit deeper. Again, it's a nice little stretch. Coming back to center. I don't know if you can hear it, but now my daughter is a dinosaur. <laughs> so she's roaring, <laughs> if that's what you're wondering in the background. <laughs> Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our left hand up, we're going to inhale and then stretch to the right, again opening up the other side. Again, go as much as you can, feeling this the muscles release, hopefully. <laughs> Get a good little stretch. When I was practicing this, I was like, oh, I haven't used this muscle for a while. Oh my. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> All right, and let's go back up. Good. And again, I'm just trying to keep an eye on the time. So again, um, you can do that again a few more times afterwards. If you want more of an, like, an exercise, you can always stretch stretch so just a few things you can do at home if you're looking for more of working the obliques <laughs> perfect good job <laughs> all right so the next thing we're going to do is a seat lift so i'm going to go on to my side so you can see me this is really good to practice standing and mindful standing we're going to be working our core our pelvis and our glutes so placing your hands at the Top of the chair, or I guess the seat for the top, if that makes sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna engage our glutes, engage our core, and we're just gonna stand and hold for a few seconds, and then lower ourselves back down. So again, this is mindful standing. So again, standing up. Rising to stand, hold for a few seconds, engage all those muscles, the glutes, the core, and then lower yourself back down. So just becoming more body aware on how we stand up. Being aware of what muscles we use. I haven't water skied for a long time, for a very long time. And so I'm trying to water ski again. And my mom keeps on saying, engage those clues. <laughs> They're very lazy though. <laughs> engage the core. So what we're doing is essentially we're preparing me to stand up for water ski. <laughs> there we go. And we'll do one more. And it's a good workout too. So we're working our legs, our core our glutes, be mindful how we stand up, and there we go. Good job. Either I'm very much out of shape, or this is a good workout because I'm sweating. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is some leg lifts. <clears throat> so again, we're gonna be working our hips, our core, and our thighs, and our glutes. So we're gonna start off with our legs straight. So if you need to go to the top of the chair, chair so we're gonna start with our legs straight. I'm going to raise my leg up so you can see what I'm doing. But essentially what I'm doing is I'm just putting my foot straight on the floor. So my heel is touching the ground. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our leg as high as you can. And then we're gonna bend it and then place it back down. So again, we're gonna straighten our leg, heel touching the ground. Raise your leg up, bend, and place down. So again, this is mindful movement. So if you want, we can add our breath. So inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, we're gonna lift. Inhale, bend. Exhale, place back down. So it's separating the movements so that it's more smooth. Again, body awareness, lift, bend, 
and down. So I'm switching legs as I do this. So I'm straightening my leg, lift, bend, and down. So again, we'll do a couple more straight, lift, bend, down. Last leg, straight, lift, bend, down. Again, we're just working those muscles, but we're also using, being mindful of how we use our body. And that can also help with various things. Last, since we're all ladies here, sorry to those who watch this later, <laughs> we're gonna do some goddess circles. So again, we're gonna be working our glutes, our core, and our spine. So we're kind of warming up our spine, kind of lubricating, getting that fluid within our spine moving. So we're gonna sit open leg. I was like watching this yesterday, I was like, hmm. <laughs> so sitting with our legs apart, we're working those inner thighs, if you can feel it. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit up straight and then start to do little circles. Again, we're working, so getting that fluid moving in our spine, warming it up, using our core, working those inner thighs. Last time going in this direction, and now when we get to center, we're gonna go in the other way. So in yoga, yoga likes to be consistent on both sides, so if you do one side, do the other. <laughs> All right, and last circle. Perfect. So that's our goddess circles. Last but not least, we're going to do our feet and our toes. So I'm going to be raising my foot up so you can see what I'm doing. But what we're going to do is we're going to do foot circles. So we're just, there we go. Doing ankle, little ankle circles. So we're going to be working our ankles, other way, our glutes, our calves. Perfect. And let's do our other side. Oops. Apparently, I can't, don't know what direction I'm going in watching the video. <laughs> other direction. Okay. Don't know if you can hear some bones cracking. Yes, that's me. <laughs> All right, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna raise both my feet up so you can see. We're just gonna do some point and flex. Your feet can be on the ground, don't worry. Unless you want a good core workout, because this is what it is right now. <laughs> point, flex, point, flex. Let's do a few more. I think we spent too much time doing some fishy face. <laughs> All right. Okay, feet down. Okay, so let's do some toe taps. So this time our heels are gonna be on the ground. So my heels on the ground, and we're just gonna tap our feet. So essentially this is my heel, I'm just tapping my toes down. That's essentially what I'm doing. So I'm just going toe taps. <clears throat> Okay, couple more. Yeah, I think we spent too much time on the fishy face. What can I say? <laughs> and now we're gonna do some heel raises. So this time our toes are gonna be on the ground and we're just gonna raise up on our heels and down. So this is what we're doing. So toes on the ground. I don't know if that makes sense, <laughs> but we're just, okay, <laughs> we're just, again, doing our heel raises. So we're giving those muscles in our feet a good stretch. Raising up and down. Okay, we'll do two more. Perfect. So that uh, is as I planned. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't get to do a Shavasana, but take this time to close your eyes if you can and 
Breathe in and breathe out. And just think of how you've relaxed your body, stretched your muscles. Hopefully you've had fun. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for joining. Um, is I always love doing this. So yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, Mary, you're still muted there. There we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. That was great. Thank you. Thanks. You guys have a good day. You too. Enjoy BC. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye.